everybody, Mike Fibus here. Today I want to talk about this device. It's the S Plus from ResMed. It's a, basically a sleep tracker and improvement device. It's one of a growing number of devices out there now that are addressing sleep. And it's no wonder, there may not be anything more important that we can do to, for our health and wellness than get a good night's sleep. So the S Plus sits at the side of your bed and has motion sensors and algorithms to figure out not only when you're asleep, but uh, what sleep stage you're in, the REM, light sleep, deep sleep, or if you're awake. And then at the end, uh, in the morning, you, uh, you get a sleep score, you get a little bit of advice, hopefully to improve the quality of your sleep. So the big question with devices like this, how accurate are they? And the answer, honestly, we don't know. We can tell that uh, at least for tracking sleep, overall sleep, that there are studies that say that it's at least as good as a wearable, like a Fitbit that's tracking and monitoring sleep. Not much available that I've been able to find that can say how well it is as, at identifying the sleep stages. I can tell you that it is awfully nice to have it sitting by the bed. That being said, the ResMed device is not frictionless. You do have to open up your phone, pull up the app, answer a few questions, and physically start sleep. But I fall asleep the second I hit the pillow. So there are more nights than not that are untracked because of that. I'd like to see ResMed take the next step and make this truly frictionless. That is, just figure out when I'm going to sleep. As good as their algorithms for monitoring breathing seem to be, that doesn't seem like it's a big step. You know, in my view, any device that can improve your awareness for how you're sleeping and offer tips for improving on that is a worthwhile investment. And the S Plus certainly delivers on that. As I mentioned, I would like to see them make it more frictionless. And longer term, I see it playing a, a role as one of several devices that are tracking you. So you can figure out uh, what you're doing during the day that is affecting your sleep, not just uh, how you're doing when you're in bed. So that's it. Thanks for listening.